What is up everybody? Long time no see. Easton here with Down South Expeditions. If you guys are just now tuning into the channel for the first time, thank you for watching. We're here at the start of the Georgia Traverse. We're not going to be doing the whole thing due to some just limited time and such like that, but it is a beautiful, beautiful Friday night, March the 26th. We're out here right outside of Bureau's Four Road up here near Lake Jocassi, Kiwi, all that area, and we're getting aired down. Might be able to see Caleb back here. He is getting us aired down. We're going to drop down to about 18, 20 PSI just to soften up the ride a little bit. And if the trails get really rough, then we'll go down even lower. But for now, that's going to be enough to just give us a good, comfortable ride. You guys know all about that kind of stuff. So without further ado, we're going to jump on the trails here. Right now, it's just a gravel, like, you know, kind of gravel paved road, if you will. And it's going to be a great time. I'm not sure what to expect. I've seen a lot of videos on the Georgia Traverse, but as always, you know, there's a tornado like last week. Are we going to hit down trees? Are we going to hit, you know, huge mud holes? You never know. You never know. So stay tuned with us, guys. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride, and I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Right, guys so i want to give a quick shout out to body armor if you guys know that is our newest rooftop tent my first rooftop tent as you guys know i'm super excited about that so although i don't have on my body armor gear right now they were super kind to send out a little care package for me hat patch stickers all that good stuff so edit on picture or show you guys a picture of me and my body armor hat so Body Armor, shout out to you guys. I appreciate it. I hope to do a lot more business with you guys in the future. Get you some awesome, awesome users that are subscribers of this channel. So you guys head on over to BodyArmor.com and check out all their products that they offer on their websites, rooftop tents. And I think they offer some new parts for Tacoma. So if you guys are Tacoma guys, I know a few of you guys on here are Tacoma guys, so make sure you check them out. So we're going to hit the trail and do it. The trail was kind of getting a little rough as far as just bumps and stuff, so we went ahead and took off the sway bars. Austin Levin, if you're watching this man, still loving the quick disconnect sway bars. Use them all the time. So we're going to get back on the trail now and enjoy a more comfortable ride now that the sway bars are off and let's get into it. All right guys, so right now we have, you know, took a few lefts here, took a few rights here and you know how to find it. You can go in the link of the description and look at my link, GPS, route, track. You know, there's a lot of bike trails and stuff down here. I'm seeing them cut off to the left and the right. Um, so you guys, if you got, if you like mountain biking, you might can find some good trails up in here. Oh man, this looks like a dude's house. I hope we're not running up on him. What is that? I don't look too good. Does it keep going? Or is that? Does it turn right? All right, everybody, so Golden Oak, stay off of it. Does not want to take you anywhere that you want to go. It will take you right into a dude's front yard. So you guys watch out for Golden Oak. Now, like I was saying before, um, you can find our GPX or our Gaia route on Gaia GPS. And if you see here, if you see this little green line that shoots off and then comes right back, that is going to be Golden Oak. And I would suggest that you not go down there because uh, that's somebody's house and basically their driveway. So nonetheless, we're going to keep traveling along these good old dirt roads here until we can find us a place to camp tonight we'll catch up with you guys in the morning or hopefully we can get some more filming and all that good stuff and uh, actually give you something to see so we're gonna keep traveling on. hey there's a uh, mount zion baptist church 
my dad put in the heating and air conditioning units from Mount Zion Baptist. So we're not far from Mount Zion Baptist Church uh, pavilion area right there. That was it. You probably couldn't see it. Anyways, we're going to keep going and we're going to find us a place to stay. And then we're going to get uh, some sleep. Catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So after a few hours of driving, I think we entered the forest around what time? 10, 11, 1130. Started our little Georgia Traverse type deal. And we got up to State Forest Road. Uh, What was it? 76? <laughs> Caleb sneezed all over himself. But uh, anyways, so we got up to Forest Road 76, something or another like that. And it was closed or we went down there one or the other. And we ended up on this road, which is, which one was this? 75. This was State Forest Road 75. And it was a lot narrower, a lot more technical and stuff like that. But we found an awesome campsite. Obviously, you guys can't see it right now because it is uh, 136. 136 in the morning. But nonetheless, we have the body armor set up, Sky Ridge. It's going to be awesome. Got the truck leveled out. And you guys, a little tip for you that I just figured this out. If you have an iPhone, newer iPhone, it has a level feature in your measurements app, which is standard on all newer iPhones, I believe. So if you're wondering, is your tent level or not, ugh, excuse me, you break out the iPhone, measure that thing. I got lucky. I found a spot that was literally zero degrees, perfectly level. So that worked out in our favor. So we're going to get some good sleep tonight in the body armor nonetheless. And just wake up in the morning. We're gonna wake up pretty early so we can get out of here, do a little bit of exploring before we head have to head back to the Hizzle. But thank you guys for watching this far. It's gonna be an awesome trip. Soon we will be doing the full Georgia Traverse. I mean, start to finish all 500 miles of her. It's pavement, dirt, everything in between, water crossing. So thank you guys for watching this far. I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again. And uh, we're gonna get some rest. And we'll show you guys everything we're seeing tomorrow in the daylight so we can get more film and all that kind of stuff. So until then, peace out. We're going to hit the hay. Shoo. Good morning. Down South Expedition Crew. It is, uh, what time is it? 7.15? 7 7.15, something or another. I was a pretty good sleep. I'm still tired just because it was only five hours of it. But I'm not going to lie, though. Sky Ridge sleeps pretty doggone good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Guys, keep in mind, I'm about 5'9", 140 pounds. Not a massive guy. Caleb, on the other hand, 6'2", 225. So, no homo. We got a lot of dude up in here for the most part. So, even though this is a two-person tent, it's not a two-small-person tent. You fit pretty t two decent sized people in here, so that's a plus. Uh, this little skylight. I was able to see the moon and a few, you know, tree limbs in front of me all night, which was nice. But the mattress is comfortable. <laughs> I guess I'm still tired, but we're going to get up and, uh, Ah, we didn't bring any breakfast with us, so we're going to eat some gummy bears and drink some water. Uh, awesome, awesome things to do. And then eventually, once we leave the trails, we will uh, make it the Waffle House. There you go. Because the Waffle House is king in South Carolina. So we're going to get it all packed up for you guys, get some cool footage for today, and we'll catch up with you on the trail. So, as you can tell, 
The body armor is super easy to set up. If you've got two people, it takes even less time, obviously, because you don't have to run back and forth to the side so many times. So I think total pack up time for us with the tent was about four or five minutes. Very minimal, um, super easy to do. Six minutes if you count putting up the sleeping bag. So I will definitely, definitely take that. We're going to get hydrated here in a second. And then we're gonna get on the trail. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It was uh, absolutely perfect sleeping conditions all night. It was about, you know, 50, 45 degrees. So in that small tent with some good sleeping bags, I mean, we were definitely warm and, and just comfortable, really. There was no wind, no rain, so it was super nice, and there's not a cloud in the sky right now. So we're gonna uh, just get cleaned up, get on the trail, and then we're gonna show you guys what we see along today's ride. So stay tuned. We've had a quick dilemma. We're going at this thing right now. We are going to get it out of the way. It's gonna happen. Caleb is making excellent progress on the tree here. We pulled most of it out, so we're gonna take turns hitting the tree until we can knock it down and pull it out of the way. Let's do it. So right here, you'll see we're about to finish up the tree. And what do you know, you'll hear in the background, a truck is coming up. And we were very fortunate enough to meet Mr. Neal, who was turkey hunting that morning, and had a chainsaw with him, which was pretty nice. So Mr. Neal was generous enough to help us cut up this tree and clear it from the path. Once again, shout out to Mr. Neal. I never called his last name, or maybe I did, but I just don't remember it. But we were able to get the tree taken care of and out of the way. And we moved on. I took a wrong left turn in the trail, which led us to this awesome waterfall rapids. Um, I talk about it a little bit here in a second, but guys, this waterfall is absolutely awesome. There was just so much water coming through there. Obviously that was part taken from the just torrential downpour of the area it's area had seen a few days before, but it was absolutely awesome. So guys, just enjoy this waterfall take it in the sound comes through perfectly on our new microphone so you can just pretend you're right there with us It's a lot of water. All right, guys. So in front of me is the rapids of Overflow Creek. You might be able to see behind me this massive tube that's, you know, feeding the water up underneath the bridge. So got the. Rangers finally got some mud on it, and we had thought that this road uh, was going to continue, but there's a gate right here, and it does not look like we're going to get very far on it. So we're going to turn around and find our way out of here. We'll catch back up with you guys, kind of give you an overview of what's happened today and all that good stuff. So let's do it. All right, guys, so real quick, I wanted to share with you a little insight 
uh, on my Gaia GPS tracks right here. I didn't get to record the entire thing, so I wanted to help you guys out by just showing you a little more in-depth on what I see when I use Gaia to find my tracks and stuff like that. Now, like I said earlier in the video, you can go online at thegeorgiatraverse.com, and this is basically going to show you uh, most of the way that we come, but this is going to be a little more on this exact loop because I think this would be awesome for uh, any families out there or anybody who just wants to get out for maybe a day, two, um, it's a super easy loop that you can do and just just have a lot of fun. It's not technical whatsoever. It's really just pat, you know uh, gravel roads, and you can do this with a two-wheel drive truck or car. Not very technical at all. So we started off right here. This is uh, Buell's Ford Road, which turns on to Forest Service Road 708. Really short. It's about four miles or so. Doesn't take long at all to get down there. Then you'll turn right off of there and come up onto forest service road 86 now you can take 86 this is what starts uh this is the second road that you turn on to on the georgia traverse but you'll see right here we turned left bared off left to 886 c now these are all just variants of 86 they all take you back to main road 86 because that's how forest roads work and come down here you can take a left right here but we didn't i believe that was locked if i'm not mistaken yes yeah, seven right here was locked um you, depending on what time you go through it might be unlocked but it was locked for us at the time we was in there so we took forest road seven come up this is the uh the road you guys saw earlier where it ended up at a dude's driveway you can see his red house right there and then you take seven all the way down now this 75 right here is where you guys can find some awesome campsites there's one here here and then there's all the one all the way at the rear right here which is where we ended up staying as you can see really nice place get back on the seven and you can either take a right and get out of there a little bit faster or you can take left followed by a right which will lead you on to 696 which is an awesome another road if you go left there that'll take you up to the waterfall which is right here you can kind of see it cutting through and then coming back through that will take you back to forest road 86 and that is an awesome uh it is a 29.6 mile loop really easy i mean there's nothing to it and i think you guys really enjoy it what should I say this time, like, to begin with? All right, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You always start off all right, guys. I know. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, guys, so just finished up the trail. We did a really nice loop. Like my buddy Caleb was talking about it just a second ago. You can find all of our Gaia GPS routes on the, in the description if you want to hit this little loop. And just, just you know, point here and point there, and you'll get your point across eventually. So, thanks for watching, everybody. It was a heck of a time. I think our total total trail was like 30 miles, 29, something like that. So, ton of fun, lots of good things to see up here, and just good time in the outdoors. We're going to come back up this way soon to hit the full Georgia Traverse, all 500 miles over. Very nice, but didn't have the time to do that today. So, I just want to get a feel for how it was going to start out. You know how that is. So thanks for watching everybody. Easton with Down South Expeditions. You got we got Caleb in the hot seat today. Oh yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Body armor tent works nice, comfortable, and we're gonna head it on back to Honey and Path to get everything cleaned up. So thanks for watching everybody. Peace out.